if at any given point in time, you asked me how much money I had in my wallet, and I pulled it out and found a total of three $1 bills, my response would probably sound like this. I only have $3. Last week, Kristen and I went out for a walk. While we were out, I found three $1 bills. The funny thing is, I was actually very excited about it. And it got me thinking, what's the difference between I only have $3 and I have $3? The difference is one single word, the word only. That little word, only, has the ability to change the whole tone and demeanor of the sentence. There's no difference in the facts of those two sentences. Either way, I have three $1 bills. But one implies scarcity while the other implies bounty. One has a tone of lament while the other a tone of gratefulness. In Matthew chapter 14, we see Jesus speaking to a large crowd of people. And as evening approached, the disciples pointed out to Jesus that they were a long way from town, and they suggested that he send the crowd home so that they could all get something to eat. His response was to tell the disciples to feed the crowd themselves. And in verse 17, we see that one little word show up. They said to Jesus, we have here only five loaves and two fish. Jesus' response was much different. Instead of lamenting the lack of food, he gives thanks for the food that God provided. And then Jesus performs a miracle. He feeds this massive crowd with what everyone else thought was too little, described as only. Because the disciples had a scarcity mindset, they were hesitant to share. Because Jesus' perspective was one of bounty, he was generous with the people and they experienced the miraculous power of God. It's amazing what God can do when we recognize that he can provide everything we need. All we need to do is trust him and be grateful. As the Apostle Paul said, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Will you join me in practicing thankfulness by being grateful for everything that God provides?